Hey guys, it's Dima from Dimos Tech, and today, well, we already checked how we can disassemble, or not exactly disassemble, with this, with that, and that, well, for a different reference. Now, those two kind of okay for that, for example. I mean, you can use it. Actually, I totally forgot we have the old tool by Keysmart, we can use those as well. That's good, that's pretty much the tools that I have, none of those are from a friend, but yeah. Let's move that aside for a moment. What if we want to actually unscrew that thing? And that's not something that this, or this, or this can. And though this one is the most comfortable for many tasks, not for this purpose, and that's why we can move those away and bring this. The Aurea 86-in-1 Tech Toolkit. And this is what we're going to use to open this or whatever we want. So, let's check this out. As you can see, this is a whole kit, a whole thing, but it's a really cool kit and I'm going to go through some of those stuff, not all of it, but pretty much we have here, let's start, two uh, magnetic sort of pads that uh, you can use uh, to first of all write and also to put the screws that you unscrew so you won't lose them and that pretty much goes here. We have a small magnetizer, demagnetizer now. The magnetizer seems to work, the demagnetizer... I don't know, I didn't really understand how to use it probably or something, but it didn't work that much. We have something like this that pretty much uh, allows you to open big stuff. Uh, I think those whole things are... Well, first of all, it seems like a pretty rugged plastic, but... From what I've seen so far, they don't hold for many, many uses. So I wouldn't say those are that much of useful, but they will be okay to open stuff like phones and stuff like that. Uh, we have two actually, again, plastic tools here. Now, those are sort of sharp edged tools and you can use them probably to open or to take something very small out. Uh, it's sharp, but again, it's plastic. On the other side, you have some sort of, like, I don't know, hook or something like that. And on this side, it's just uh, a thin, uh, like, uh, a thin, like, plastic, so you can open things with that as well. Actually, on the other one, if you look closely, this is also pretty sharp, so you, you can use that one, but this one has also a hook. Um, let's go ahead and continue. And I'm going to skip for now the main screwdriver kit. Just for now. We have here that thing uh, to pretty much, uh, you know, uh, open a screen if you're opening a phone or something. So that should help. Well, I'm not really sure if it's strong enough. And it also have a SIM eject tool, which is kind of cool to have. It's always useful. Let's put back, let's put that back. And now we actually start with a whole pack of metal tools. And those are actually seem to be very high quality. And that's the first one. You have a sh pretty sharp edge, I would say, on that side. And on that side, it looks like you can open some things with that. I'm not fully sure. Uh, which I uh, use they intended for this, but it seems like a cool stuff as well. And you can actually change the places of everything if you don't like something particular. Now, that one is a little bit stuck here since it's long, and that one also has, um, well, that one isn't sharp, but you can pretty much uh, grab something with that probably and help it up. That one is a little bit sharper and it seems, yeah, it's also flat. So you can use that one. And actually those metal tools, they seem like very high quality. I really like it. Let's go ahead and continue. We have another one. Now that one is a little bit, if you'll see, 
uh, figure and it's actually you can sort of pull something with it. Uh, well, it looks like uh, you could pull, I don't know, a transistor or something with it. Um, I would say that this one seems very useful, but it's a little bit thicker on the edge, so I'm not fully sure if that will be useful enough. And on that side as well, it's uh, more like uh, shaped like a U instead of a V like on that side. So they're kind of different. Now we have a cutting knife, sort of a crafting knife. It's a very simple though, it looks metal. I wouldn't say that it's something special. I didn't really try to cut it, it seems okay. Seems okay, nothing too crazy here. It's a little bit hard to actually get it. Yeah, let's try to get it like that, okay. Then we have something like that. Honestly, I would eat ice cream with that. It looks like sort of a spoon and actually I believe that you could use it sort of as spoon for example for maybe for thermal paste or something like that. I think it would be useful for that. Next we have actually again some plastic tools like that, like that. Uh, again, as I said, I don't think they will hold for too many uses, maybe one or two. Uh, I don't really like those kind of things. They are always kind of, I don't know, not good enough for my usage, I think. Anyways, we have some tweezers. We have some tweezers and those are metal. They are, oh, well, I wanted to say okay, but they are totally much better than okay, I would guess. And they come with a plastic uh, thingy here to actually protect them. So, as you can see, they are protected and not open, so they won't damage your case, for example. And we have another one like this here. Let's not take it out, it's pretty much the same. And this one, and I actually like that one, it's pretty much the same, but angled. And and I think that's very, very useful. Let's try to grab that. And yeah, that's, that's something that uh, is very comfortable, I think. That's something that is very, very useful, I think. And it will be good for us. Now we have here something as well. Let's go here. So you receive sort of a small fiber cloth. Not that interesting. And you receive your anti-static, electrical, static, electricity, whatever it's called, thingy. Uh, usually I don't use those, but it's something for safety. And if you work with electronics, you do want to use that. Keep in mind, it's very important. I usually don't do things with electronics or at least live electronics. So for me, it's less needed, but again, it's for safety. You should use it. And another small pack, and that's, oh, actually there's something else that I forgot. Uh, you have another here, um, SIM card ejector and some SIM card adapters for your micro SIM, nano SIM, etc. Uh, pretty useful, good to have. And then we have four of these. Now, again, it's not something that will hold pretty many uses. But that's something that is very important, and since you have about four of those, oh, that's actually, you know what? It might hold. It actually feels good. So you have about four of those, and that's kind of cool. Let's put those back, and we'll go to probably the most interesting, I would say, thing here. That's one of the main reasons why I bought it. Not only that I wanted those tools around, that one was the most important for me. And that one is actually our screwdriver toolkit. And yeah, it's kind of hard to see since there's uh, some lighting in here. But yeah, so well, let's open it up. Now the outer plastic feels really good. That's totally good. But the internal plastic here, well, it's a totally different story. It's not something high quality. But the plastic isn't the most important thing here. So we have here at the top two sort of additional bits that I'm not really sure what to use them for, but let's keep that for later. That's our main screwdriver. And as you can see, 
it's looking very good, it's actually very nice to grip, very nice for the touch. That top fin is actually spinning, so that's important. And this is the most stupid fin that I've seen. They have like a pass for something to give you more torque, but it's not all the way, it just goes in a little bit on the other side as well. Uh, I don't know, I would take a drill and actually drill a whole hole there. But again, it might not be possible since here you have something else. And if you pull that a little, you can actually extend it. And as you can see, it's quite of good extension. And you can totally actually take it off. So that's good. And you can put it back in. That's really, really good. And if you have something angled, you can use that fin and it will also extend it and it's magnetic so uh, you could use something like that really cool i mean i really love that that's really awesome so let's move on and we have kind of many bits here so we have a plenty of bits probably not everything you could buy additional bits uh, this fin here is pretty much uh, standard, so it would be pretty easy to actually find our bits. And I'll remind you that we want to try to open that fin. And we, well, I don't have a reason to open it, but it's just cool to try, right? So let's go ahead and try to find a bit for that fin. Now, I don't remember really where each bit is and I don't know them that much, so it might take me a while to actually figure out, I think, something like that. No, you know, probably that will work. Let's try that here for a moment. No, that's actually too thick, way too thick. So we can go with probably that one, let's try. Oh, now I know that this thing is totally stupidly not close enough and we're going to try that so let's put that in now again it's magnetic and let's move it aside for a moment and let's actually try now again uh, it's a little bit hard to show it on the camera trying to you know what let's try to angle it a little and that screw actually doesn't screw all the way oh it's probably yeah you need to hold it probably from that side sorry so let me try to hold it and yeah, you cannot screw it all the way since uh, you need to hold it pretty tight back there. I can use some tweezers actually here, but I won't. Let's try to maybe unscrew one of those here. Actually, that's an annoying thing. So, you know what? I'll actually totally unscrew it. I'll actually take that screw out. That's quite holding. Not really sure why it's holding actually. Let's try to take the both of them. I mean, uh, it's very comfortable and I do see it screwing and everything, but for some reason it seems like they're a little bit stuck. Oh, okay, so you just have to push it, and that's pretty much it. We have uh, done it, we have unscrewed, and as you can see, it's magnetic and it does hold the screw. Hold it pretty good. Well, obviously, if you'll actually pull that too hard. And you know what? Let me just bring for a moment that magnetic pad. And now we can put it here. And as you can see, it's actually pretty standstill if you put it. Well, not always. Here, here you go. And that's, well, that's not metal, so it won't magnetize. And as you can see, Let's bring the magnetizer and the demagnetizer. So as you can see, a screwdriver is currently magnetic, which is good. But if we some, well, sometimes want to demagnetize it, uh, we should be able to demagnetize it. Now, I still didn't figure out how that demagnetizer works. I've seen some YouTube video that the person does it like that. And then it's just demagnetized. So let's try. And as you can see, it's still magnetized. Uh, it's a little bit, as you can see, less stronger, but it's still magnetized. And if we'll go through the magnetizer, and you'll see in a moment that it will actually be much, much better, much, much stronger. 
think that's enough. And as you can see, it's much stronger. There's no way now that I can just drop that screw here. Seriously. No, it just doesn't drop. So the magnetizer works, and actually the demagnetizer probably also works. You know what, now I understand what's happening. The demagnetizer actually works as well. Yeah, yeah, now I get it. Now I get it. The demagnetizer works. The problem is something different. Let's say that that's enough. Yeah, now it's a little bit less stronger. But the thing is that there is still a magnet here inside the screwdriver. And that's why it's not demagnetizing totally. So I would say that's okay. That's totally fair and it's good. And by the way, again, you could probably do it like that if you want. I don't know. Uh, let me screw it back. Let me actually fix that thing back uh, because... I do use that knife and I don't want it to break on me or something. I actually do like that thing. Um, it might take me a while actually to maybe... No, you know what? It's actually very comfortable with that screwdriver. That's it? Seriously? Oh, no, no. I didn't. Okay. I missed a little bit. Okay, those are weird screws that don't actually screw all the way or something. Okay, that's it. Now it holds. That's good, and if we'll take that one, if we'll switch the bit for a moment, let's bring back that. And as you can see, I didn't show you about those things. Uh, you can pretty much move them, but nothing holds them. I mean, you can take it out and reorganize or something like that. I think we need something about that size. Let's try. Now, if you know the sizes, actually it will be very comfortable because they're written there, so it will be comfortable for you. And let's see if I took... No, I took a small size. Uh, as you can see, for me it's a little bit harder because I don't really know the sizes. But now I know that maybe I need two and a half and not the two that I took. So let's try the two and a half and see if that's it. No, actually no. And as you can see, I'm really bad at that thing. But I'm pretty sure that that one will be too much, but let's see. Oh, actually, perfect. So yeah, we can take it. Well, I don't want to take it out, but it's actually very strong, very powerful. And to be honest, if I have to choose, I would prefer still this one. And that's more versatile and more comfortable for me. Now again, changes from person to person. And let's put everything a little bit back together here and let's you know let's close everything back up and I'll show you how comfortable it is to actually close everything let's see if they don't forget everything so we have here the demands I think I forgot yeah that the other pad so we'll put it here back and yeah we can close that uh, we can do it like that so it won't fall like that, like that. Um, that thing doesn't hold that much. You have a handle, it's pretty good. And I really love it. It's fixed. Well, it's pretty thick, but good. Now this is not the iFixit toolkit. It's pretty close. It's not probably that high quality as the iFixit toolkit, but that's totally good enough. And that will do the job from now on I can pretty easily take apart computer stuff and stuff like that. If you remember that SSD back then, that one would save me from breaking it. So, that's the Aurea 86-in-1 Tech Toolkit. Very comfortable to use, very useful. I highly recommend it. There are different types of it. Uh, you can decide on some other tools that you want. You can uh, try to combine maybe a few kits. There are multiple types of kits. There are bigger, smaller. You can buy just the screwdriver toolkit. Uh, I'll give some links in the description. I really love it. Looks really awesome. And come on, wouldn't you use that beast? Thank you for watching this Demostech episode. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss any future video. And I'll see you on the next one.